Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet right here on the side of the Ocoee River behind me. We're in southern Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains and tonight we're going to cook you up a delicious chicken dish on the 10-inch Lodge Dutch oven, so stay tuned. So yeah, this is a beautiful camp here. We're at Thunder Rock. We've been uh, overlanding all the way from LJ, Georgia, all the way through the mountains all day. We're about 70 miles logged off pavement today uh, in our new Tundra. So here's the things you're gonna need to, to make tonight's chicken dish. You're gonna need some, I'm just because we're camping, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs, pre-packaged, so I didn't have to worry about them getting wet in the cooler. If you're at home, don't worry about it. Get the skin on, bones in. We don't want to have to dispose of any bones since we are in bear country. So here we can get rid of all this right down the old, the old gullet there and not worry about attracting any bears. Second thing you're gonna need, one apple. What kind it is, don't think really matters. You need one mango, fresh mango, right there. You'll need one small container of just regular good um, orange juice, you can need some seasoning, of course we're going to use our favorite Seminole Swamp seasoning, and you need, need a little oil or bacon grease, I usually don't put that in ingredients because use whatever you prefer. Alright guys, so we get, we're set up with our truck awning, and uh, we got it set up in what we call extra wide mode, where we went all the way to the, uh, and this is the roadhouse tarp. We went all the way to the corners to make it extra wide back here and uh, you know, we got our river scene out the back back here, which we weren't right next to the highway over there, but hey, you get what you get when you're out here, right? So Mrs. Backwoods has the nest set up in there pretty well. And uh, I'm gonna get lights out to hook into the new Bluetti power bank, which I have a uh, charging the phone or did have charging the phone over here. So we use that to uh, power up our um, inflator for air mattress right there. We got AC power, we can run a coffee maker off that. I'm gonna show you guys that over on probably back with the gourmet channel. But this is how we set up our overlanding deal. Got our table set up in here. We'll get our chairs under. Right now, we are ready to cook. Jump right into this guys, it's getting late. Hopefully we can get this film before it gets uh, completely dark outside. Go ahead and open our package up. Looks like we got six very small um, thighs up in here. So I got a brand new package of Seminole Swamp Fire in a Swamp. And I'm gonna go ahead and give them a pretty generous dousing of that both sides. Yeah, those guys are tiny. They're like quail thighs. But when they take the bone and everything out of them, of course, it's going to be a lot smaller. All right, so we already got the Dutch oven over there getting ready and preheating. So we're going to want to sear these guys off to hold in that moisture. So while our chicken is over there getting ready in the uh, in its season, let's go ahead and we're just going to peel this apple the old fashioned way and really. To be honest with you, you don't have to peel it at all, um, but we'll do it anyway. Like I said, we'll do it the old-fashioned way with the regular paring knife. And if you don't get it all off of there, it ain't no big deal. All right, go ahead and get that guy going, and let's go ahead and peel this mango also. Now, this one joker here is not the ripest in the world that I've ever seen, but I had to take what I can get and try to shop local up here. And I'll go ahead and peel him and I'll show you the easy way to get this off of this enormous seed. And you're gonna wanna dispose of these peels properly too and not in your campfire. That just makes them tastier tasting or smelling for the bears. Off of its giant seed, I'm just gonna cut straight down all the way to the seed. You can feel it down there. And then I'm gonna cut back across it 
in like cubes. And I'm doing this on the flat side of it. Yeah, then I'm gonna come right under there with my knife and follow the seed, hopefully, in each one of those little cubes. Just gonna fall right off. Well, if I could keep it, hold it a little rascal. And you can kind of do that all the way around him. And when you carve down to the seed, the chunks will just drop right off of it. Alright, Apple, I'm kind of gonna do the same thing since we don't really. I mean, we got a cutting board there if we wanted to use it, but. Just as easy to do it like this. Especially when you're out here in the woods, you may not have a cutting board, do it just like that. So I've had the Dutch oven sitting over here preheating for about 10 minutes with a little bit of oil in it. I'll swish that oil around because it's not the levelest place in the world I've ever experienced. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop in my little chicken thighs. If you want to, these boneless ones, you can kind of open them up a little. Make them cook a little faster. Alright. Got those guys going. the moisture evaporate. All right folks, it looks like a chicken is pretty much done all the way through. I really couldn't get the fire hot enough to really sear it, but we're not gonna worry about that right now because it's dinner time and I wanna eat. I'm gonna go ahead and dump all of our fruits right on in there. Nestle them down in that little bit of broth that's left. And over top of that, we're going to pour a little bit of orange juice, just some liquid. Go ahead and get that lid back on. Then we're gonna load up this lid with some new coals. Go for a good amount of heat here, so we're not on heat control. We want to reduce all that chicken stock, fruit. It's gonna spit out a lot of moisture also. So right now. You can pretty much leave that alone for a little while and dinner will be ready.
think we lost a little bit of the audio right there at the end of this video and uh, so I did notice that a little bit later and we went back and changed the batteries in my wireless mic you know again we're out here in the woods so it's not a studio so hopefully you, you guys are hanging in there with us so the next thing I wanted to tell you is that during this whole video Mrs. Backwoods has been playing a little game with you guys that you may not realize and we started this because we know that people uh, see stuff in the background of our videos that we never know exist so this time she's been playing since it is Halloween night uh, October the 31st 2021 she's been playing with you with this guy Mr. Pumpkinhead Mr. Pumpkinhead Okay. So it's Halloween night. We're camping out here right next to the Koei River. You may be able to hear that in the background. It's just right in right behind the camera here. And uh, so we had something happen to us here at camp that's pretty unique. We actually had a couple with their small daughter. That she was dressed up in her Halloween costume. They came around and they were doing reverse uh, trick-or-treating. In other words, they were giving out candy to the other campers. They were, really didn't expect us to be out here camping and be ready for a trick-or-treater to come by so uh, I got a Reese's from the little girl I don't know what her name was but got a Reese's I like Reese's okay so that was pretty unique there's thought I'd share that with you guys and um, you know mm-hmm that counts too okay so if you can put down in the comments how many scenes during this video that you saw Mr. Pumpkinhead, we're going to give you a shout out in the next video. So again, if you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right down there. Subscribe to our channel. You can do right there for another great Backwoods Gourmet video. It's going to be right there. And for a whole playlist of cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.